The school buses our kids ride today look a lot like the ones we used to take. And that's because they are. Not much has changed in these last few decades. Transportation reporter Pete Montin found out some moms in Fairfax County are trying to change that. Back to school could one day be powered by batteries. That is, if a push by Fairfax County moms gets a jolt. Very hopeful. Bobby Monticella has two kids in Fairfax County Public Schools. She joined a national campaign called Mothers Out Front. It wants yellow buses to go green. Fairfax County has the second largest school bus fleet in the country. The hope is to turn some of its 1600 diesel buses into electric buses. Everyone is interested in this technology and more than anything, everyone is aware that climate change is here. It is happening now and we need to do something about it for our kids' future as soon as possible. Proponents of electric buses say they're not only cleaner, but cheaper to run, but they are more expensive to buy. Each electric bus costs $350,000. A diesel bus is more than $100,000 cheaper. This is definitely coming. It just is a matter of figuring out how we're going to pay for it. Monticello's moms are reaching out to bus manufacturers and public utilities to see if they will foot the bill in hopes that future generations don't have to. Our kids' future relies on it. We have no choice but to just move forward and make it happen. In Vienna, Pete Montine, WUSA 9.